Hey guys, this is Olive the Art bringing you another video of Genshin Impact Wood Farming Guide. This video has three parts. First, the best wood farming characters. Second, how to farm unlimited woods staying at one spot, aka the wood refresh mechanism explained. Third, the location where you can speed farm all seven types of trees. Check out the timestamp below to go to the part you are interested in directly. Okay, let's start. First, which characters do you use? I recommend poem users like Xiao Zhongli. If you don't have poem characters, Kaya is also good. For locations where all the trees are together, use Noel's charge attack and you all come back and thank me. To farm unlimited pieces of wood at one spot, you need to understand how trees are refreshed. After you farm the first tree, let's call this tree number 0. If you farm 10 other trees and then go back to tree 0, tree 0 is refreshed. For these 10 other trees, you don't need to get 3 pieces of wood each from them. You only need to get 1 piece of wood from 10 trees and then you can go back to tree 0. Let me demonstrate this. This is a tree far tree. I hit this tree 3 times and then hit 10 other trees once and get 10 pieces of wood. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now go back to the sweet far tree. It is refreshed. Remember this, when you are hitting these 10 trees, if you hit a tree but it did not drop any wood, it does not count. You should continue to hit trees until you have wood pieces from 10 trees before you go back to tree 0. Another thing that you need to pay attention to is, for example, let's say after tree 0, you already got wood from 9 trees, and then you accidentally hit tree 0 again. Tree 0 won't drop any wood, of course, but the real problem is that the count of 10 trees reset, so your efforts of hitting the 9 trees are wasted. You need to get wood pieces from 10 trees again before you go back to tree 0. Knowing this mechanism, you can farm any type of trees in place without having to move around so much. Now let's check out my favorite spots. This is my favorite spot to farm unlimited Suihua wood and fir wood. As you know, Suihua trees are the trees with fruits. Here are three Suihua trees. The most efficient way here is to farm all three Suihua trees first, and then farm eight other Faber's fir, and go back to the three Suihua trees. Just remember, to get unlimited Suihua wood constantly, the order you farm the three Suihua trees during the second round it needs to be the same as the order during your first round. The Daupa Gorge is the area with most Tsuihua trees. I have marked all of them for you. You can mark them on your map and get some Tsuihua wood when you pass by. But I feel still the most efficient way of getting Tsuihua wood is still the first spot I mentioned. Another location to get fir wood is the Stone Bearer Point. Just go in circles as shown on the map. The best location for pine wood farming is Mondstadt as shown on the map. No need to go to the Dragon Spine area and face the danger of Hillature attacks and Frostbite. This is how you do the circle. Don Winery is a great spot to farm birch and cedar. Another great cedar spot is the Whispering Woods. Again, go in circles to have unlimited cedar in place. I have two favorite spots to farm sandbear wood. 
The first one is at Guili Plains. I will show you how I do the circle. The second spot is at Qingyun Peak, where you can farm sand bear with pine wood. You can also shorten the circle to only farm sand bear wood. Here I'm going to show you the full circle. The last one is bamboo. I think you all know where to go to farm bamboos. Yes, Qingzi village. Just go in circles and you'll be fine. Alright guys, hope this video helped you. Like, comment, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more useful and fun Genshin Impact videos. Until next time, bye!